Bookshelf invasions! Shh! Shh! Christ. So I'm definitely a little late getting this video out because this is all about Halloween and uh, it's almost Thanksgiving. But um, I have an excuse. For me, because I worked at a Halloween store for the last three months, Halloween just ended on Monday. So I'm bringing it to you now. And if you'll remember, um, the last time that I did a bookshelf invasion, I threatened to do one for a certain author. And uh, it looks like I followed through with that. So, uh, uh, but it's a hodgepodge. So I'm, it's just going to be a bunch of clips thrown together and we'll see if it even seems coherent at all. But there is a contest. Or what, Hats and high heels. Free from RT. You look at that. Look what she has. I have Twilight. That was a Christmas present. Awesome. These were free at some trade show, I believe. Why are you taking yeah. that out? Free courtesy of Penguin. Um, someone's calling. Oh. Yeah, someone's calling you. One moment, please. I'm being... Oh, I can look on my Hello. own. Let's see what we have over here. Oh. Oh, look. Let's, let's see what she has. She's got some cushioned books. You know what that means. She likes the S&M stuff. Oh, no, that's not very YA. Sandman books. Let's see. Hagen's and Christmas. Looks like some research books. Some naughty books she shouldn't be reading. Some Scott Westerfeld books. Michelle Rowan. <laughs> yeah, she's got her own stuff. Um, let's see. Pete Houtman. What else do you have? Need some more books. More Scott Westerfeld. Do you love those books? I do love those books. So what are your favorite? Take us on a tour. What's your? What would be your favorites out of here? My favorites? Why? Why? Yeah. Or maybe not. My favorites are Kushels. I'm going to edit all this out anyway. I don't really like YA. <laughs> um, well, no. It can be anything. No, I... I give you... Like, you've, oh, you've got um, Kimberly Jerding's book. Did you meet her? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. you have? There's Hunger Games. That's like probably my favorite YA that I've read in a while. It looks so good, but That's I don't true. see it. It's all right. Um, well, I'm gonna take a look at her. Uh, I, you her an excellent book. <laughs> Why look at these? Speaking of YA books, it's, oh, where is it? God, I can't find anything. So this is what happens when you have. Um, when your publisher sent you too much stuff and you just don't know what to do with it. I so it ends up it ends up everywhere. I can't find all around your office. I need books. Uh let's see what else she has. We saw something really cool. The Korean version of uh this is Frostbite. That is Frostbite. Look at this. Look how awesome this one is. It's called Sad Illusion. The inside is insanely awesome. But uh, yeah, and this is Vampire Academy's The Interior of the Korean Version, which is great, and it has like a cover that's insane. This is exactly what your American cover should look like. That's great. <laughs> These are insanely cool. I have a really good YA book. Yes? What? It's, what is it? It's called Not Yours. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Sicko! Oh, you sick pervert! Oh, wow. I'm... I'm just going to look at the last page real quick. Oh, Dimitri. What? That's going to get your blood boiling. Uh, let's get back to the other stuff, though. I like that. The art. That's a book to keep an eye on. It's about angels. <laughs> When does this one come out? This comes out in January. And uh, this is a fantastic book, Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. It's about a girl who's half angel and the wacky mishaps that are soon. Wow. <sighs> it's probably another one I won't ever get around to reading. <laughs> I, I have an arc of it. I'll bring it. Kimberly Dirting's got a presence here. 
I don't know what that U is either. I like the title though. These are Vampire just, Crush. These were sent to me actually by Harper because I blurbed Unearthly and loved it so much and so they sent me these books. Kimberly's actually local to us. Is she? Where yes, she she's somewhere around here. Oh. I'm I went into Western the Western Washington. Yeah. I went into the Lakewood Barnes and Noble and she had signed all of her books there. Anyway. I have a there's some other ones. Of that one too. That's cool. Kelly Armstrong, Waking oh, the Witch. I like this cover. Yeah, I like that. That was a good one. Our, uh, our buddy Nicole. Yes, Nicole. I drew. I started the graphic novel for her. Oh yeah, yeah. see my stick figure drawing. Did drive. you see it made, it made <laughs> one of your fan sites as your artwork? Alrighty. Oh, that's lovely. So we're looking at what? We have anything else yeah, interesting? Yeah, Shadow Kiss. What is up is there? Some Rachel Kane books. Rachel Kane, not to be missed. So, oh yeah, right there. Some Charles DeLint, Mary Janice. Mary Janice Davidson has a um, has a YA line. Mhm. Mm yeah. Does, I can't uh, remember. Jennifer Scales. Jennifer Scales. That's right. Yeah, I think it's her name. Um, what else? Oh, a lot of my books from college are there. Uh, the Joy of Sects. Yeah. See what they did there. Yep, I got it. There, Kristen Cashmore, Cashcore's Grace Wing. That's a good book too. Another Is it? good YA fantasy, high fantasy. Oh yeah, lots of YA down here. Mm -hmm. Some more Rachel Kane's YA series. Mm -hmm. Yup, I got a nice little Hellboy selection there. Ooh. I have, I have kind of a barter system. Um, Mike Mignola's daughter. In this next clip, Rochelle reveals how spoilers can ruin a life. I've read the first two books in the Hunger Games series. I have not read the last one, but I feel like I have because it's been ruined for me by so many people. Oh, one of yeah. whom is a New York Times bestselling author who went and gave away the ending on Twitter, but who will remain nameless. I know who that is. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> now for something intriguing and beneficial to you, the the Danny Marks YA YouTube viewer. Um, a contest with a prize. We reveal it in this next clip. Roll it. You got anything we should we should do a contest you with and give away? Doors everywhere. <laughs> what do they want? What might you want? Let's see. Is it what's the newest thing? This may be the newest kisses from hell. I mean the newest is last sacrifice, but I don't have those to give. We can give away kisses from hell. We got a lot of those. You wanna do that? Yeah. Alright. So we're going to give away Kisses from Hell. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope it made at least a little bit of sense. I, I had to clip it together from like these really small um, camera clips that I did. Uh, it was ridiculous. And half of them didn't even record. And so the, by the time I got home and loaded them, I was like, what is this crap? But so is my life. Anyway. Um, so right here. I've got it with me. Kisses from Hell, uh, uh, Rochelle's, um, it's not signed yet, but it's going to be by the time you get it. Um, signed story in that antho, lots of other people, cool people in there, Kristen Cast, Allison Noel, um, Kelly Armstrong, Francesca Leah Block, other people. I'm, I haven't really opened it. I'm really bad at reading lately. Anyway. That's it. Uh, if you want a chance to win um, Kisses from Hell, uh, leave a comment in the, in the thread, and I'll choose a winner at some point, and we'll figure it out. That's it. Uh, I'm going to be posting a, like a Halloween decorations video in, in like a minute. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, see ya. So I'm here in Rochelle Mead's office taking a look around. There's a party going, oh, too soon. <laughs> Can you edit it out? <laughs>